run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss why I believe it's getting harder and harder to source anything decent really at charity shops. So first off, I wanted to touch upon my own experience over the past few months around the charity shop. Then what I'm going to do is obviously talk about maybe some of the reasons why it's getting harder, or at least I believe it's getting harder. And then I'm going to end on a few tips that I have employed in the past that have worked brilliant for me, and that actually I need to start re-employing to be able to get more from charity shops and more out of charity shops in these slightly harder times. Because it seems a few years ago, just two or three years ago, it was just that little bit easier to get stuff from charity shops compared to how it is now or how it was a year ago. And I'm betting, obviously I've not been a reseller for 10 years, but I'm betting that people who have been a reseller for 10, 15 years will say to me, oh, well, 10 years ago it was even easier than it was two or three years ago, and it was definitely easier than it is now. So my few experiences over the past few months uh, um, well, quite a lot of experiences with charity shops actually over the last few months have been pretty poor on the whole. Um, you know, I've been going around either my local town, I have been going to a few other towns as well. I went to a, a different town recently as well. And I'm seeing some stuff there. I mean, generally it's either too high priced or it's not in as good condition. But there's a few bits, and I'm picking up a few bits and bits and bobs here and there, odds and ends. But as I say, not as much as I was picking up, you know, two or three years ago, even maybe a year ago. Um, and you know, I'm picking up mainly bread and butter items. I'm not picking. I'm not seeing very, very rarely am I seeing anything like. 40, 50, 60, 100 pound items, whatever. There might be the odd few there that I might be able to pick up, but a lot of the time they're either just too high priced or they either go on the charity shop eBay site, which I will get to in a minute when I discuss a few of the reasons why I feel it is getting harder. So generally we've got we've got that side of it you know charity shops pricing higher and stuff and and i'm looking around the last few months and i'm i'm noticing this i'm noticing there's a lot more stuff in the cabinets that are sticking up at high prices in fact um i was talking to a charity shop manager or charity shop sales assistant the other day and there was this uh, harry potter book in one of the charity shops for 95 pound um and it was it was in there for a few weeks actually i talked about this uh I think it was on one of my vlogs, but I want to reassess, reassess this because um, actually I have some new information on this. So there was this book and I thought, oh, well, they're never going to get that. They're going to come down in price and then they're going to realise that at some point, you know, they've got to charge a fair price for it. Not that that £95 isn't fair, that's a fair retail price. But in a charity shop, in my opinion, that's not particularly fair. But of course, they have to try and get the most amount of money out of them. And that's fair enough out of the items that we get. So anyway, this sales assistant, I was chatting to her and she said, do you, do you know that book uh, that was in one of these charity shops? Uh, I don't know why, but this book, I suppose, had become a little bit infamous among other charity shops that it was priced at that, that amount. I don't know. But um, anyway, she said that that book had actually been sold to someone for £70. So we must have took an offer on it. But you see, because people, because obviously uh, just general public are picking these items off slowly but surely uh, for those higher prices, it's meaning that some charity shop managers, now don't get me wrong, in certain charity shops, they won't achieve those high prices and then some of the managers will eventually come down. But it, what, what, what this means when certain people in the general public pick off the items for those higher prices is it validates to charity shop managers that, oh yeah, we can get these really, really good prices. And that, I'd say that's fair enough from the charity shop standpoint, from a charity shop's point of view. But from a reseller's point of view, obviously we just have to do what we can. We have to get stock from where we can. And if charity shops aren't going to be um, you know, a really viable source of stock in the future, then that's what we have to accept. That's how it's going to be. But from a more uh, selfish reseller's point of view, we're thinking... Oh, you know, but that means that we can't get stuff at the charity shops. And that seems to be what 
the the woot the woot that's been gone down the woot that has that has kind of been taken um these days opposed to a few years ago a few years ago it was more like we'll just you know pick things up at the charity shops the managers seem to price pretty reasonably uh, and we can make some good money on them the managers are fairly satisfied etc but it seems that more these days there's these higher prices as standard and as i say with certain general public actually basically buying the things for those prices that's validating to the charity shop manager that they can attain those prices and then that kind of cuts us out a little bit which as i say is fair enough from the standpoint of the charity shop um but also we've got the idea of ebay coming in and this has come in in the last two or three years uh for the most part of what i've seen in charity shops now i can see in most charity shops there's really these little banners and everything check us out on ebay or the rest of it and again for the charity shops brilliant if they want to you know put the items on ebay get more money for the charity absolutely brilliant nothing wrong with that but from a standpoint of my job it then cuts it kind of cuts me out again so as well as a lot of the people watching this it kind of cuts us out as resellers so you know you've got all these shops now putting things on ebay all the rest of it in fact there's a charity shop up near me a local one who didn't have an ebay store and uh, before we didn't have an ebay store i was getting a little bit more from that charity shop than i am now because a lot of the stuff is just going direct to ebay so that's another kind of factor of uh, of making it harder is, is kind of this kind of squeezing out of the reseller from the charity shop so i want to kind of just finish on what we can do about this and what we kind of have to accept with this um so there is a few things we can still do with this i mean for one we can try and up the amount of charity shops we're going to and just go around as many as possible uh, try different locations in the country or in your local area and essentially just keep going keep going keep trying to find items the other option number two would be and i've done this before and it's it massively helped me this but even these days it's not helping me as much and that's getting f uh, friendly with charity shop managers so I've been for I actually there was a, a time when I was getting stopped from about three or four different charity shop managers but then over the course of a year or so those charity shop managers left and then I didn't uh, kind of apply myself and get friendly with the other managers and therefore it means I'm not getting as much stuff now so I do need to get uh, apply myself a little bit more with a few more charity shop managers and then I'd be able to get a little bit more still but saying that I am friends with one of the charity shop managers and he does keep some stuff back for me or he kind of does um help me you know get stuff and does deals on prices and things like that and it's really really good um but with that kind of yeah you have to you're gonna have to apply yourself you're gonna have to go out there you're gonna have to kind of um get communicating with these people and then you'll be able to get some stuff but also what i'm finding and what this particular charity shop manager keeps referring or telling me about is uh, referring to me about is this idea that the stock just isn't coming in and 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 he's and he's is completely true when he says that because when i'm looking around the other charity shops there's not as much stuff in there and the stuff that is in there as i mentioned earlier on they just stick up in the cabinets for crazy amounts of money so he is true that the stock isn't coming in so then you look behind that a little bit and this is only because i've got more of an analytical brain i mean this is blowing it out of proportion you don't need to I'm, I, what I'm doing in this video essentially is making the act of going to charity shops. I'm complicating the whole thing, but I just like to do these kind of videos because I like the kind of rambly aspect and the analytical side of it, and, and really looking deeper down into things because that's just the way my brain works. So, but then you, what you do is you look behind that and you think, well, the issue, part of the issue as well, as well as the charity shop managers obviously putting them on eBay or pricing them high. Part of the issue is the general public because they're the ones who seemingly aren't donating as much to the charity shops. So then you think, why aren't we donating as much? Well, you've got things like Facebook Marketplace out there. Maybe people are going to car boots because car boots seem to, I did a car boot the other day. Car boots seem to be still fairly decent. There still seems to be a fair few private sellers selling there. So again, 
if you feel uh, like myself that charity shops are getting harder and harder, maybe uh, another tip or another way is to change your sourcing strategy and go to car boots or go to auctions or somewhere else where maybe there still is a little bit of a higher opportunity and um, just generally is a bit more easier to get a, a better volume of stock as well. Um, so, you know, there's obviously general general sellers might be doing car boots and then they might drop the tat off at the, at the charity shops that then means that it means nothing to us really because we're just going to brush it to the side when we see it in charity shops. Um, they could also be doing things like selling on eBay themselves because eBay at the moment, you're, I'm sure you'll be aware, is pushing this advertising of casual sellers and wanting to get loads of casual sellers on and all the rest of it, you know, that seems to be a big, and they've done that for a while actually, but you know, you've got that and then you've got all these other little apps that are coming up. I don't know, there was one of them, I think one of them's actually gone under it, uh, nowadays but, but it might have been spock or something that's gone now but what one of them's gone anyway one of those apps but you know you've got these little again very very easy to list on apps um and you can just you know go around people's houses you know gum tree and all the rest of it and that makes it easier for people to sell and obviously they're selling directly to possibly one of our customers if we had actually uh, been the middleman in that situation so you know, you've got things like that, so then therefore the charity, the charity shops aren't getting stuff or we're not getting stuff uh, from that. So, you know, but then you've also got another side to it. You've also got the opportunity that maybe if the private sellers are going on Gumtree or going on these other sites, then you can get in there and maybe haggle and then you can still kind of squeeze in there as kind of a middleman between the private seller and then the buyer, of course, so, uh, or who would be potentially our customer. But essentially, directing it back at charity shops, it does seem harder and harder. I don't know whether I would say directly charity shops are dead, but they are incredibly, incredibly hard. Um, yeah, they, they are really, really hard these days. And I wouldn't be surprised at some point in the future that um, essentially it becomes into a kind of region of just not worth going for resellers. Now, I do see, um, you know, just as an onlooker, that clothing still seems to be particularly decent at charity shops. Now, I don't know why that is. Maybe it might be because there's an abundance of it, readily available, etc. So charity shops clear it more easily and they don't really mind clearing it for, for cheaper prices. So maybe that's a bandwagon people could jump on. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm not going to do it myself because I'm just not a clothing seller. But, you know, if you don't mind selling clothing, maybe that's a route you could go down. Um... But other than that, it seems, you know, toys and games aren't too bad. But generally, you know, if the price in a board game, are, I mean, I, I say they're not too bad, but actually I see a lot of board games now priced at four or five quid and they're only £10 board games or 12, maybe £15 board games. So again, it, for me, it's not really worth it. The margin's not quite there. But, there, you know, there are certain toys and games you can still pick up. And there's always going to be that, that odd item that charity shop managers either don't look up or they don't know about. So there is always the potential there. But it seems the potential of the last few years is being cut further and further and further down for the resellers. But again, getting this back to a more holistic viewpoint, not just the selfish viewpoint of a reseller like myself, but actually looking as an overall picture it's brilliant for the charity shops, you know, and I do want to end on that. Despite it's cutting us out a little bit, it's brilliant for the charity shops because they're getting more money at the end of the day, uh, whether it be via their eBay stores or, or even in the shops themselves. And then that means that they can help more people at the end of the day as well. So, you know, that side of it is, is really quite good. So now, essentially, in a form of acceptance, what we need to do is, if we have to at some point, if we realise that there comes a point where charity shops are completely dead, then we need to just think, right, well, we've got, we've got to go where we've got to go. And obviously the resellers who um, are savvy, and a lot of resellers who watch myself are very savvy, they will do that without without a shadow of doubt, without a, a second thought, really. They'll just go go ahead and change with the times. Um, and those who, who, who can't do that or feel... Um, you know, or still want to go to charity shops, will just simply won't get as much stock when that time comes. And I do say when because I do feel like it will get to a point where 
And when I say chat shops are dead, I don't mean that there's going to be a point where every chat shop you walk into, you won't be able to get one item. But I mean, they're dead in the sense of you might go around 20 charity shops and pick up one item, or you might go around 50 charity shops and you end up only picking up one item. So it's ridiculously uh, low kind of opportunity. And I think that time will some at some point be apparent. Uh, I don't know when that would be, but it just seems like that could be um, a future that, that that manifests itself. But again, there may be opportunity in other areas. It might be that the opportunity switches because opportunity never really vanishes. So it might be that, as I say, there might be just more opportunity in a different niche in, within charity shops, but the opportunity might vanish from media or toys or things like that. And as I say, might might go on to clothing or, or whatever it may be. So always got to be watching for those changes in opportunity as well, because it might not just completely vanish, but it might, as I say, shift or change. So anyway, I'll leave it there for this one. Just a little bit of a rambly one, guys. A little bit of a ranty one because it's how I've been feeling over the past few months with charity shops and I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a video on it and just get a few of my thoughts out with it. I think I have done a previous video similar to this. Um, so I suppose it's like a little bit of a an update on that or maybe a little bit of a slightly more detailed video than that one. And uh, yeah. I'll uh, leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mine.